Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, let's face it, not every golfer hits the ball in the middle of the club face every single time. So, unique to Ping this year with the Ping G425 Fairy Woods and Hybrids is the terminology of spin consistency. So, to explain once what spin consistency is, it is consistent spin on off-center strikes. So, specifically to the Fairy Woods and the hybrids with the Ping G425 is the lower part of the club face actually has had, got a reduced loft of about two and a half degrees. What happens is when normally when you hit the ball low on the club face is the ball will kind of balloon and go up in the air and spin a lot. So we want to have spin consistency. We want to have distance control, especially when we don't quite catch it in the middle club face. So I'm going to test that today. I'm going to hit 10 shots with each, the fairy wood and the hybrid. And what I'll do is I'll select the tags and put them under low on the club face and center of the club face. And we'll take a look at the numbers. We'll see if there's any differences between the fairy wood in the middle of the club face, the hybrid in the middle of the club face, and then also the fairy wood and hybrid low on the club face and see if there's any performance characteristics that have changed. So I'm excited to hit some shots and compare spin consistency with the fairy woods and the hybrids. Before I do that, I do ask that you do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty of other great content coming your way in the future. While you're at it, make sure to comment and like any video that you like. Let's hit some shots and take a look at the numbers. That was low on the face. So I just hit 10 shots. I tried to vary where I hit it on the club face. I tried to hit it low on the face and then also in the middle of the face. So I separated two tags. So we have a center strike and a low on the face uh, tag essentially. So let's talk about the differences between the two of them. So first thing, my club speed, exact same, 98 miles an hour with both of them there. Interesting, the ball that was struck in the middle of the club face gave me more ball speed. So that's what you would also expect catch in the middle of the club face, you're going to have a higher ball speed across the board. Um, my launch angle was two degrees lower when you caught it, when I catch it low on the face. So normally when you catch it low on the face, the ball is going to launch lower than in the middle of the club face. So what I would expect right off the bat right away. So let's jump to spin rate. So spin consistency. Let's see how the Ping G425 hybrid did. So we do notice that the spin rate was a little bit higher catching it low on the face. However, we're talking only three or 400 RPMs of spin, not a crazy amount. Sometimes when you catch it really low on the club face there, the ball can really balloon up in the air and spin and not go very far. So we can notice that the highest spin rate that I got was 37.44. So that was the absolute highest spin rate that I got. My lowest spin rate was 3172. So we're talking about pretty consistent on those low center hits. When I caught it in the middle of the club face, you do notice that the spin rate was a little bit lower, yes, but the important thing to take away is it didn't balloon. Didn't balloon what you would expect, maybe a thousand RPMs more spin when you catch it on the low on the club face. So that's really kind of important there to note. Other thing we do notice when I caught it low on the club face is the height dropped a little bit. So 88 feet in the air, low on the face, 94 feet in the center of the club face. So really nothing really changed too much with the landing angle. We're talking 38.9 to 39 degrees. So good news, spin consistency is a thing. I do want to show you really quickly where I was catching on the club face so we can kind of take a look at the differences and look at the data. Okay, so first let's start with the center strikes. So over here on the right, you can kind of see how pretty close to the middle of the club face. I have the tendency to catch the ball slightly on the toe side of the club. If we look at the low on the face, you can see how they're a little bit lower on the face there. This one especially was pretty low on the face, but we noticed how the spin rate still was pretty good. So that was very, very low on the, on the club face there. Another one very, very low on the face, but the spin rate stayed very good as well across the board. Another one low there too. So really important. It's quite 
it's quite an exciting time for Ping to be able to generate this technology because we know a lot of golfers, they do hit the ball low on the club face with their fairway wedge and hybrids. We've tested the hybrid. I agree, spin consistency is a thing. Now let's test it with the fairy wheel. Okay, 10 shots with the fairy wood. We split it into center strike and low on the face. So let's get and take a look at the differences here. So we can see that the club speed and the ball speed numbers were once again pretty similar across the board. 103.9, 103.6, 156.5, 156.7. So there is nothing in it at all with regards to catching it low on the, on the face or center on the face. It's kind of interesting with the hybrid, we did lose a little bit of ball speed when you didn't quite catch it in the club face. With the fairy wood, it was basically identical. We're talking 0.2 miles an hour less ball speed. So ball speed retention was pretty good across the face. Once again, launch angle was two degrees lower when I caught it lower on the club face. So 10 degrees, or actually 9.8 degrees on average versus 12 degrees with the center strike. So spin consistency, how did the fairy wood do? Well, we can see it's about 400 RPM in difference again. So when I caught it low on the club face, we're talking 3,500 RPM to spin. When I caught it in the middle of the club face, we're talking 3,100 RPM to spin. So once again, spin consistency for sure worked. It did not balloon, didn't go crazy high, didn't get any spin rates in the 4,000 range mark there. And I did get a couple that were pretty low on the club face. We had one in particular, if we look here, that got to 39.77. That one was smack right on the bottom of the face. So it did spin a little bit more, but that one was for sure very, very, very low on the face. So it does a pretty good job to help on your off-center hits when you catch it low on, on the club face. So the Ping G25 one is forgiving, but spin consistency for sure is going to help across the board. If we look at the height, I lost about 10 feet in the air when I caught it low on the face. We're talking 96 feet in the air versus 106 feet in the air. I lost one degree in landing angle there too. But right across the board, it's kind of interesting that spin consistency, it works. Let's take a look and see where I did catch it on the club face because I just want to show you the differences. Okay, so center strikes. You can see how they were all pretty close to the middle of the club face here. Very, very close to the middle of the club face. When we look on low on the face, this is the shot that I was kind of talking about here. You can see how it was pretty low on the club face and the spin rate jumped about 3,900. Uh, another one kind of low on the face. Another one very, very low on the face there as well. It's kind of interesting. I'm looking at this one here. It was a little bit lower, but the spin rate was actually almost the same as the center strike there too. So it really does depend where on the club face, how low you do hit it. If you catch it right on the bottom, no doubt it's going to spin a lot more there as well. But you can see general trends is overall is about 400 RPMs higher spin when you caught it low on the face. That's with the fairy wood and the hybrid. So it's really interesting to kind of take a look at those numbers. Not as much as I would have thought. I would have expected a much higher spin when I caught it low on the club face, especially with the three wood. So I was impressed at the spin consistency with the Ping G425 fairy wood. Finally, I want to touch on the dispersion map a little bit. So this is going to be fun to kind of take a look at. Once again, it is important to catch in the middle of the club face. When you do catch in the middle of the club face, you are going to hit the ball a little further. And we can see that the orange circle up there, three wood center strike, did go the furthest carry distance. We can see lower on the club face, a little bit of more wider dispersion with the uh, three wood. And then we can kind of see the, the hybrid difference here. Hybrid went a little bit further with the center strike, a little bit shorter there with the low strike there. But kind of interesting how the hybrid, my dispersion pattern, not, it's only five shots, but my dispersion pattern was wider 
when I caught it in the middle of the club face. Now, I actually don't play a hybrid in my bag. I play a driving iron utility because I do have a harder time to hit it a little bit straighter there too. So there you have it. Spin consistency is a thing with the Ping G425 Ferrywoods and hybrids. It's not going to be the exact same number when you catch it low on the club face, but it was forgiving enough to help you out. We're talking 400 RPMs of spin. It wasn't nearly as high a difference as I would have expected when I caught it low on the club face compared to catching it in the middle of the club face. So this is a really fun test. I'm excited. I think Ping G425 Ferrywoods and Hybrids are going to perform really well in 2021. We just showcased spin consistency today. It's a thing. I hope you really enjoyed this content. Thanks for watching.